Hello. Hi, this is Jenny from Middle PTA. Is this Todd? Uh, yeah, this is him. Oh, hey, Todd. I've been working with the auction and I got your number off the form. How are you today? I'm good. Thank you. I'm glad to hear that. I mean, what amazing success that auction was. We really couldn't have done it without you. Wow. Okay. I mean, thanks. I mean, I don't think you realize because of that, all the fifth grade classrooms are going to be able to have upgraded computers next year. So kind of you. Well, that's cool. I'm glad to hear that. Yeah. So I was talking to your wife, Sherry, about how things are going to work with a car. Uh, and... Actually, that's my ex-wife. But yeah, she's the one who encouraged me to, to donate. So yeah. Okay. I was... So then I should probably talk to you. When are you available to sign over the registration and give us the keys? What, um, wait, I'm sorry. What? We just need to pick a time to do that within the next 24 hours. We just want to give the new owners their classic Mustang that you so generously donated. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. I never agreed to auction off my car. What? Uh, yeah, no, I didn't agree to that. I have the paperwork right here. It says you agreed for a 1962 Mustang to be auctioned off. No, 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 hang on, hang on, wait a second. No, no, I didn't agree to give away my car. I said I would let someone use it for a day, and that's it. No, that's not what I have written down No, yes, there. yes, it is. That's what I agreed to. Well, it's a little too late for that. I'm not giving away my car. I'm not doing that. Your Mustang is paying for the kids' computers. I mean, I don't think you want your son's class to go without computers next year, do you? Well, no, I don't. But, I mean, this isn't my fault. I mean, you did read what your ex-wife wrote in the description, right? To be honest with you, I just glanced at it because I never agreed to that with my ex-wife, so... Sir, your signature is on this paperwork, and we do have very good lawyers. Excuse me, are you saying that you're going to sue me for the car? Is that what you're saying? No, no, you we're going to sue you because you're a liar. Uh, no, I'm not a liar, and I don't appreciate you calling me that at all. You don't know anything about me. I trusted my wife when I signed off the paperwork. Oh, wife or ex-wife? See, now we just can't keep things straight these days, can we, Todd? Not when I'm upset. No, no, I can't. Because there's no way anybody is getting this car. There's no way. Okay, I think we just all need to take a deep breath here, Todd. <gasps> well, I'm, I'm trying to. You're not making it easy. Yeah. You're not making it easy. Okay, so you're saying you didn't mean for this to happen, so maybe we can make this right another way. Okay, that sounds great. Mm -hmm. What do you have in mind? There is a free lunch program for disadvantaged children whose parents can't afford to feed them. So maybe we can just take that away for the year. What? No. Wait, well, no. It's either you give us your car or you call poor little Max and tell him and his parents that he won't be getting lunch at school. Wait, you Just, want you want me to call? Well, you you're taking food out of their mouths. I don't, I don't know what's going on. You're not listening to me. This is not my fault. You guys got to figure something out because this is crazy to me. This whole conversation is absolutely crazy. Is this the type of attitude that caused your wife, Sherry, to divorce you? Are you kidding me? You work for the PTA. You have no business bringing that up. I can't believe you just said that. Well, actually, I don't work for the PTA. I work at a radio station. Wait, wait. You work for a radio station and you're calling me a liar? You're the liar. You work for a radio station. <laughs> no, I'm trying to tell you this is Brooke from Brooke and Jeffrey in the morning. We're doing a prank phone call on you. What are you talking about? It's all a joke. Don't worry. You can keep your car. Your ex-wife, Sherry, set you up. What? Your car is all yours. You did not auction it off. It's all a joke, man. It's a phone tap. Oh, oh my God. Are you kidding me? <laughs> yes, I'm totally kidding. Oh, my God. Oh my Sherry God. emailed us and told us that you have, like, a real emotional attachment to your car and would freak out if anything happened to it. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's probably one of the reasons we're not married anymore. I can't believe she <laughs> set me up. I don't know. I think she's pretty funny. Oh, my God. I'm going to kill her. Uh, <laughs> but let's be real. You were totally going to keep your car overfeeding those underprivileged children. I mean, I mean. I would any day of the week. You haven't seen my car. <laughs>